The Cornell and District Antique Machine Park Family Fun Day was a huge success on the weekend. There were lots of things to see and do and the event was highlighted by the commemorating of a 1940s sawmill owned and donated by Cornell's own Bill Magnowski. Well, for us it's still a piece of him that's still around today and uh, believe it or not this mill was actually, he purchased it just after he graduated in about 1950, 1951 um, when they still had small timber licenses around before all the big mills took it over and he cut uh, quite a few boards uh, for the mills themselves but he also built every building and his house uh, with this mill. For me it's a great legacy that he has here and, and it's great for our family to know that, that uh, part of the history of the ranch and everything is still here and still in uh, great working order. It seems to be a hit. We've got lots of people out, lots of kids, lots of old folks. That's great. Our ancestors figured all this out hundreds of years ago, <coughs> so we should be able to figure it out. It's not that hard. Yeah, we had little kids here interested in it and that, so who knows, some of those little girls might get into knife making or blacksmithing or something. Well, I'm sure it'll happen again. Uh, there's lots of interest in the community in it, so it'll, it'll come around again. I hate to see the old stuff destroyed. I'd like for young people to see it, maybe learn a little bit of how you had to do it. How do you feel when, you know, you're talking to a kid and they, they actually get it, they, you see that excitement? Makes you feel good. Yep, you feel good when the kid understands and really interested. Definitely looking for more members, especially people that would like to restore a given article. They can come and work in the shop on their own time scale, and they're certainly welcome. If you are interested in helping restore some amazing antique machines or you would just like to know more about the park, you can call 250-747-4621. For Shaw TV, I'm John McKenzie.